morning. I came outside to escape the noise. The boys are being crazy and wild and having way too much fun in there. They decided to play Disney Infinity this morning and they're playing together. Half the time they're playing nicely together, half the time not so nicely, but that's okay. <laughs> At least they're playing together, right? But it's gonna... I might have to escape the noise. I might actually take my computer out here and work a little bit. We're gonna go and try and do blueberry picking today if we can. I'd like to get a few pounds of blueberries, though my freezer is full, so I don't know. We'll see. For dinner tonight, we're gonna have enchilada chicken, which is a recipe that I made that is super popular on my blog. It's done amazing on Pinterest, and I probably get like 100 views a day just on this one recipe. And basically, I created the recipe because I wanted to have enchiladas, but because I was going low carb, no carb, I was trying to figure out how can I make this low carb. So basically, I'm going to show you how I do it, and I do it in the crock pot. So it is super easy, and it is really, really good. For this recipe, you're going to need one pound of chicken, taco seasoning, about two tablespoons, and enchilada sauce. We got our chicken. We're going to add it to the crock pot. I'm going to pour this 10 ounce can of enchilada sauce all over the chicken. Now you have a couple options here. You could mix the taco seasoning beforehand with the enchilada sauce and pour it all over, like if you're going to leave for the day. But I'm going to have a chance to mix this midday. So I'm just sprinkling the taco seasoning on right now. This is my homemade taco seasoning that I have a recipe for also on my blog. And I just sprinkle it on for now. And then I'm going to put this on low six to eight hours. And we're just going to put the lid on. And basically, once you pull this out of the crock pot, you're going to sprinkle it with cheese. And you can even add chopped green onion if you want for a garnish. It makes a really light, really easy dinner. And it's very low carb. Now I serve this with either like cauliflower rice. Tonight we're going to do salad because I have a couple heads of lettuce that I need to get through. So there's a lot of blueberries. <laughs> That's called a school. Oh. Of blueberries. Yeah? There's a polka dot one. There's a polka dot blueberry? Yeah. Oh. That's I'm... a type. You should. Uh, this is a fish blueberry. That's oh, a fish blueberry? Are you going to eat it? No. It got polka dots. And they're really sweet for girls. Their bushes are a little bit shorter than the other farm that we usually go to, but the other farm we go to isn't open. But they at least have lots of berries on them. And you can see they're going to still have lots more too. But I think it's good for the boys to learn about where food comes from, especially really good food for you, like berries and things like that. So they learn from this and they're selling these for about $1.75 a pound. We were just at Costco last night and they were selling uh, two pounds of blueberries for $5, $4.99. This will support the local farmers and we know where they came from and we know they're fresh right off the bush so they last longer so it's it's a good experience to go out berry picking if you can look at we got almost a full bucket so we're gonna go for like about a bucket and a half i think are you done yeah um this is for granny and this is for Auntie Andrea. Yes, we're getting some for Auntie Andrea. And Granny. Daddy gave Zane a roll. He has to pick three, then he may eat one, because he has not actually had very many in his bucket yet. We ended up with 10 pounds of blueberries. We were trying to get, I think, like five to six so that I could share a couple with my friend and ended up with 10, and she got four. So we will be freezing some of these and this is what we're going to be eating this week for our fruit. That and the blackberries that I picked last night, which I think we probably got
probably close to four pounds of those, so lots of berries. And so I'm going to have to start creating some berry recipes, too, for my blog, since I have them. So we just got home, and so I'm going to do a quick stir of the chicken and the sauce. Now, if you're finding that your sauce is really, really watery like this, and you're going to want a little sauce on your chicken, um, you can cook some of the water off of this. You just want to make sure and leave the lid off, but you'll want to watch it really closely. To serve the chicken, you can just place a few tenderloins on your dish and sprinkle a little bit of cheese on it and it will just kind of melt. You might want to let it sit for about four minutes just to cool and melt the cheese. And there you have chicken enchilada, low carb, very delicious. What are you thankful for, Zane? I'm thankful for that. Got to watch. I have pony, okay? Okay. And what are you thankful for, Zach? I'm thankful for you. And Daddy? And Daddy! I'm thankful choo, that we choo, got choo. a bunch of our school supplies shopping done today. Oh, yay! <laughs> I'm thankful that we got lots of berries and we I were even able to share them with berry. our friends. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye! Like and, and I would. like and subscribe our video. <laughs>